Hi guys, so for this video I am going to go in depth with states and show you actually how to test your scenario after that. Uh, so we are back to from the first video we just uh, you just hopefully watched which showed how to we created those two locations and those two characters and these items. Now if you open a location you will see that actually you can see states close and open here and you can also see states for characters. Uh, so let, let's dive a little closer. Let's say that I click on the open state of the location South Bank. Uh, what I see is a couple things. The first thing is the name of the state which I don't think we need to change in this case. It's an open state. But here is the introduction message. It's what will be shown to player when they scan uh, this location when it's open. So uh, you arrive at the uh, 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 at the apartment and uh, see the body on the floor. Um, there is things you can you can uh, work on here. So, for example, you can say whether this state uh, is a state in the one people can move to this location. If I go to the closed, you can see that this has been unchecked because it's closed, right? But you could create your own specific state uh, that's maybe open but without the body or thing like this. Also, um, you can specify if this state uh, at game time when scanned. Typically, you could say that. Oops, I moved it up and down. Uh, you could say that uh, when you when you go to that closed location, uh, it doesn't add the 20 minutes for whatever reason uh, because uh, it it will be too punishing for your game or something like this. So this is what this is about. And then finally, you have special action. Special action are things you can do. For example, if you do want to show the investigate location button, which will trigger the, the 3D scene, then you need to specify it. So special action is in investigate location. Um, welcome to review required us to have a second special action uh, button. But if you follow the typical uh, base game stuff, you only want special action. Uh, what are the kind of stuff that you have? Well, exit interrogation mode. Uh, finish scenario, um, special event action, exit action, exit question. Most of this you don't need to use. Those actually are internal uh, action that uh, that we use internally. This is very generic. Uh, the the biggest one you need to know is about this investigate location. So let's say that actually because I'm at the victim's apartment, uh, I want to be able to investigate. And I here I would load an image. I did not prepare it for this video, but I would load an image, set it up. Uh, and the result will be that when I go to this location, when it's open, then I will be able to see this investigate button. If I go back to this location, but the state is closed, uh, first of all, I would not be able to move here, uh, but also the special action will be gone. Okay. Um, so, so this is the state of a location. Now let's look at state of character. Um, and let's say that uh, we're going to add a s create two states for the daughter. Let's say that the daughter is the uh, is a very evil person that actually killed her a mother, uh, or at least was involved in in her killing. And I'm going to create. I'm going to right click and I'm going to cre create a character state. So I'm going to kill that first state as in cooperative, cooperative. And the second state is going to be not cooperative. And uh, and let's say that the default state of the of Colette is not cooperative at the beginning. She doesn't want to say or admit anything. So when you go to this uh, to this not cooperative, first of all, you have a couple thing. Uh, again, does it add game time when you scan or not? And secondly, you can decide whether uh, how you interact. So, for example, uh, for the body, Mary, her state, we probably want to put the context mode as none, which is basically we are gonna, uh, we're just gonna read that text and that's it. We don't want to interrogate the body. The body is not gonna be able to answer a question. So, I put Mary state one, which is a state dead, uh, to context mode none. But, for Colette, you see that the, the default state of a, of a character is interrogation. Basically, when I'm going to scan her, I'm going to put her in interrogation mode, which basically uh, creates contextually a new scanning uh, window where you can uh, scan other stuff and she is going to reply to everything you scan there. Um, 
And you can also have extra special action when you're doing those things. In, in this case, you have this exit interrogation button, uh, but you could also have other, other things. Again, this is very generic. Um, I would not recommend you to touch those unless you know what you're doing. Typically, you only want the exit interrogation. The show UI is because you can basically change the frame of the UI you're talking to. Uh, by default, when you keep default, it will actually become interrogation in this case. But there are other, other kind of UI frame that you could play with. I will keep it to default. Now that I've created states, let's go back to us talking to Colette about uh, a mother. So when we're going to scan her, well now what we're going to say, if Colette's state is not cooperative, then uh, she's going to say, yes, it's my mother. What? She's dead. I have no idea what is going on. Um, let's say that we found the DNA of Colette on that kitchen utensil. And that when we show her, so let's, I'm going to collapse this, collapse this, and now I'm going to go down to items. And let's say that now we're going to scan the knife to show her that we find her DNA. Uh, and we're going to change the text to, to, to do that. So where do you find that knife? What? My DNA is on it? Okay. I will tell you the truth. So the text indicate that she should change state, and so that's what we're going to do here. Once she says this, we're going to change object state, click edit here, and add state change. We're going to take Colette, and we're going to say she goes from not cooperative to cooperative. So now we have changed our state. And let's say that uh, we go back and ask her again to talk about our mom, but this time, Colette state is cooperative. So you see we have not cooperative here and cooperative. Now we can make her change what she's going to say. I admit, I, I was mad at her, but never wanted to kill her. That's how you can use custom states to, um, to really mold interaction with object and, and, and people uh, to really open up your story as you go. Now finally, uh, I need to do a couple last settings for us to be able to try this. The first thing is, so I need to finish to uh, set the state of the Greenwich when we arrive in this apartment. Uh, so you arrive at uh, Colette's apartment and uh, you arrive at the apartment and see the bodies on the floor. I think this is okay. And we're going to go to the scenario settings and start the starting location as the victim's apartment. Um, I'm going to save and now I'm going to click scenario tester. So here is how this scenario tester works. Let me make sure it's fully in screen for you. Um, it basically contains all the cards on the left here as well as all the location and character that you have created. So I'm just going to click start. And so as you see, it simulates exactly what would happen on the phone at the end. It says we are in South Bank victim's apartment because we say it's a default starting location. And it gives the, uh, the starting scenario text, which is it's 5 a.m. and you receive a call, blah, blah, blah. Next. So now we are the victim's apartment. To test interaction, you simply click the work scan. So we are going to scan Mary. This is the victim's body. We heard her daughter lives in Greenwich. Here is her address. So the interaction we put here works worked like a charm. I'm going to click next. Um, as you remember, we actually said that there is an investigate button that should show up here. So it, it is it shows up here to show you that her interaction works. So now I'm going to click scan Greenwich to go to the daughter's apartment you arrives at Colette's apartment. So far, everything is the way we wish so. So I'm at Greenwich, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scan Colette, which by default should be uh, not very cooperative. Hi, what do you want? Well, I want to talk to her about her mother, Mary. Let me open this so that you can see. I want to talk about Mary, which is in state dead. 
Yes, it's my mother. What? She's dead? I have no idea what's going on. If I scan this again, obviously the same text shows up. So as if things were properly coded, if I click scan knife, where did you find that knife? What? My DNA is on it? Okay, I will tell you the truth. And you can see it actually here the state went from not cooperative to cooperative. So I'm going to click next. And if I uh, scan Mary again, I admit I was mad at her, but never wanted to kill her. So everything we planned worked out beautiful here. here. And, and so this is how you can really test what can quickly become fairly complex interactions and changing of state uh, in the purpose of your story. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you, uh, hope you enjoy and see you in the next one.